The power of a number shows how many times the number is multiplied by itself. Usually, a power is represented with a base number and an exponent. The base number tells what number has been multiplied. The exponent is a small number written above and to the right of the base number. For example, 6 to the 5th power may be written as 6 to the power 5. Here, the base number is 6 and the exponent is 5. This means that 6 has been multiplied by itself 5 times. 6 into 6 into 6 into 6 into 6 is equal to 7776 or 6 to the power 5. In this chapter, we will study the following concepts. Exponents, decimal number system. Exponents. Large numbers can be written in a shorter form using exponents. When a number is multiplied by itself many times, it can be written in a short form as below. If 2 is multiplied twice to itself, it is equal to 2 square. If 2 is multiplied thrice to itself, it is equal to 2 cube. If 2 is multiplied 4 times to itself, it is equal to 2 to the power 4. 2 multiplied 5 times to itself, it is equal to 2 to the power 5. Thus, if 2 is multiplied n times to itself, it is equal to 2 to the power n. Here, 2 is called the base and n is called the exponent. Similarly, if we write m to the power n, m is the base and n is the exponent. Here, m to the power n is read as nth power of m or m is raised to the power n. Powers of a negative integer If the base of a number is a negative integer, then if it is raised to one even power, the answer will be a positive integer and if it is raised to an odd power, the answer will be a negative integer. For example, in the animation we can see that minus 1 raised to the power 1 is equal to minus 1. Minus 1 raised to the power 2 is equal to minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 equal to 1. Minus 1 raised to the power 3 is equal to minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 which is equal to minus 1 and so on. Laws of Exponents Law 1. Multiplying powers with the same base. When we multiply two numbers with the same base, we add the exponents. For example, 1. 2 to the power 3 into 2 to the power 2 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 is equal to 2 to the power 5 equal to 2 to the power 3 plus 2. 2. 4 square multiplied by 4 square is equal to 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4 equal to 4 to the power 4 that is equal to 4 to the power 2 plus 2. 3. Similarly, minus 3 to the power 2 multiplied by minus 3 to the power 3 is equal to minus 3 to the power 5 equal to minus 3 to the power 2 plus 3. Therefore, we can generalize that for any non-zero integer x, if m and n are whole numbers, then x to the power m into x to the power n is equal to x to the power m plus n. Law 2. Dividing powers with the same base. When we divide two numbers with the same base, we subtract the exponents. For example, 5 to the power 6 is divided by 5 to the power 2 equals to 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 divided by 5 into 5 is equal to 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 is equal to 5 to the power 4 that is 5 to the power 6 minus 2. Therefore, for any non-zero integer x, if m and n are whole numbers and m is greater than n, then x to the power m is divided by x to the power n is equal to x to the power m minus n. Law 3. Finding power of a power. We multiply the exponents when there are two or more exponents and only one base. For example, 
square of 2 cube means 2 cube is multiplied 2 times. That is, square of 2 cube is equal to 2 cube into 2 cube, which is equal to 2 to the power 3 plus 3, which is equal to 2 to the power 6. Here we see that 6 is the product of exponent 2 and 3. That is, the square of 2 cube is equal to 2 to the power 6. Similarly, cube of 4 square is equal to 4 to the power 2 plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 to the power 6. Here we see that 6 is the product of exponents 3 and 2. That is, cube of 4 square is equal to 4 to the power 6. Therefore, we can generalize that for any non-zero integer x, if m and n are whole numbers, then x to the power m to the power n is equal to x to the power m into n. Law 4. Multiplying powers with the same exponents. When we multiply powers with the same exponents but different bases, we multiply the bases and give the product their common exponent. For example, 3 square into 2 square, here 3 square and 2 square have different bases, but the same exponents. Now 3 square into 2 square is equal to 3 into 3 into 2 into 2 is equal to 3 into 2 into 3 into 2 is equal to 6 square. We observe that in 6 square, the base is the product of bases 3 and 2. Similarly, in 4 cube into 2 cube, 4 cube and 2 cube have different bases but the same exponents. We observe that in 8 cube, the base is the product of bases 4 and 2. Therefore, we can generalize that for any non-zero integers x and y, if m is a whole number, then x to the power m into y to the power m is equal to x into y to the power m. Dividing powers with same exponents. Let us divide 3 to the power 5 by 2 to the power 5, which can be written as 3 to the power 5 upon 2 to the power 5, which can be written as 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 upon 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2, which can be written as 3 upon 2 into 3 upon 2 into 3 upon 2 into 3 upon 2 into 3 upon 2. If a and b are integers and m is a natural number, then a to the power m divided by b to the power m is equal to a by b to the whole power m. To express numbers as a product of powers of prime factors, study the following examples. Example, express 32 as a power of 2. 81 as a power of 3, 343 as power of 7, 625 as power of 5. Solutions. 32 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 equal to 2 to the power 5. 81 is equal to 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 is equal to 3 to the power 4. 343 is equal to 7 into 7 into 7 equal to 7 to the power 3. 625 is equal to 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 is equal to 5 to the power 